Hello, good morning, everyone. Right, uh, nice meeting you in the form of YouTube, right? So, I've, I've we have added a lot of videos in the past, right? Uh, right, and then uh, I thought of right adding one more video in the bucket. Uh, so, uh, right, uh, I had a like idea of like why not we automate one full application end to end from the scratch, right? So, the plan is right, I'm going to create a framework and this video. In the next next videos, I'm going to automate this Flipkart application from the scratch. Okay, let's try and write automate this Flipkart application. For example, right, I'm just going and searching a mobile, uh, right? Uh, just going to search a mobile, uh, right? And uh, through automation, just going to uh, select and uh, get the count of right all the products, uh, right? And then going to display the product in console, uh, right? Uh, next one is compare uh, right two products and just go for this filter uh, right different filters i'm going to do i'm going to take this uh, right product list and store it in excel sheet read write functionality uh, right we are going to see okay then we are going to do different auctions right move mouse move uh, right so we're taking a screenshot uh, right scroll down right so different right functionalities right uh, uh multi drop down multiple window handling all uh, right why not we try with different functionalities with the uh, help of flipkart application at least 10 important major test cases we'll try to automate and we'll do move forward so that's a basic right idea behind this uh, uh, video okay so let's start in this video what's the basic thing you're going to do is i'm just going to create one simple framework i'm not going to write prepare any test cases or write going through any code the next next videos you will see right how to write how we are going to create a simple structure uh, write a framework and write a code then we're going to write uh, automate the test cases so that's the plan guys so let's go and create a simple framework okay so for that i'll go to file new maven projects i'll click next I'll go and click create simple project. Click next. I'm going to add the group ID Flipkart project. Flipkart project. Let's uh, take it as end to end project. Let's take it as Flipkart underscore end to end project. End to end project. Okay. Let's go for this one, guys. Okay. I'll add the artifact ID then i'll click the finish button okay i'm clicking it then this project has been all right created now okay let's let it build okay now what we'll do is in this video i'm not doing any code here right i'm just going to create the structure of the project in next next video coming video shortly we are going to add the codes here okay now let's go to src main java right click new okay i'm going to create one package all right com dot okay uh, com dot library class sorry base class we'll take it as a base class okay then i click finish then i'm going to create another package here Package here, com dot hooks. Let's finish it. Then I'm going to create another class package, com dot reusable functions. Okay. Then I click finish. Then I'm going to create another package, com dot utilities. Okay. Sorry, I can write class now. Let me clear that. Com dot utilities. Let's click finish. Now, now let's go to SRC test Java. I'll right click, go to new, go to package, 
then create com dot pages. We are uh, the framework uh, right, is planned of hybrid uh, BDD Google project. The combination of SNG, uh, page object model, uh, data driven. Okay, so right, these three combinations and BDD. Okay, so we are going to add these things. We are going to add action report. Right, we'll we'll run into uh, Jenkins also. Okay, so we will we'll run to Jenkins also and Jitter integration also will will be a part of this. Right. Okay. Now let's go and create another class. SRC test Java. Right click. New. Okay. Uh, create a package. Okay. Now com dot. Right. Step definition. This is going to be the framework. Okay. Step definitions. Okay. Now click finish. Now next right click and create another class. A uh, package. Right. Com dot test runner. Okay, let's finish it. Now go to SRS test resources, right click, create a new and a folder. I'll first I'll add features. Click finish. Then I'll add another folder, screenshot. Click finish. Then I'll add another folder config dot property properties, right? Config dot properties. Next, right, I'll create another folder, reports. So as of now, right, uh, we'll uh, create this, right, folders, okay? Now let's go and create a class now. For each, each package, we'll create a class now. Right click, new, right, library class. I'll go create a library class. Guys, those who want to learn this framework, I advise you to just follow this and create your own framework in your Eclipse and watch the next next video so that you are going to do one end to end automation here. Thank you, guys. Okay, library class. Next one is hooks. We're going to create one other class. Hooks. Then reusable selenium utility. Okay. Next one, this one is Excel utility. Finish. Okay. Now we'll go to pages. Search page. Okay. Now let's go and uh, add the dependency now. Form dot I have the dependencies in my old project. I'll just copy and paste it. Okay. So this one, right, I just paste it. What I'll do is I'll just write one minute, just for your uh, Right, come forward, right? I'll just show what are dependencies, right? If you want to do it, you can do it. I'll just go slowly, right? If you can add the dependencies, you can do it. Dependency first is salute test ng. I gave 2.12.0. Next one is jerking. 
I gave 2.12.2. Next one is I O cucumber, right? And it's 5.7.0. Cucumber test and I gave 5.7.0. Cucumber J unit, I gave 5.7.0. Cucumber I F and I O container, I gave 5.7.0. Extend reports, I F and cucumber I adapter, I gave 1.3.2. Extend reports, I gave 4.1.5. After team member, I gave 1.8.0. Cucumber core, I gave. Selenium Java, I gave. All right, the 4.3.0. All right, Apache Pi, I gave. Okay, web driver manager, I gave. All right, uh, JSON, I gave. Rust ratio, Java client, extend report, Cucumber 5 adapter, I gave. And then uh, so this extend report. So, I want to add these dependencies, right? Make sure that you are adding these dependencies. That really helps. Okay. Now, let's. Right, go and update the project. You can see right the dependency is getting downloaded from the repository. So I've added a name and build tool here. Name and is used to create the structure. Let me restart once. So it gets all the repository gets downloaded. Now, right, you see all the dependencies has been downloaded. Okay. So, this has been downloaded. Okay. So, the plan is, guys, right, I'm going to automate this Flipkart application one by one test cases. The next, next videos, kindly follow us uh, to get a better understanding of, right, how you are going to automate the different scenarios of the Flipkart application. Okay. So just to introduce ourselves, right, we are from Change Test Automation. Okay, our uh, official website is c2tcode.in. Okay, you can follow us, right, uh, right for the future, uh, right, videos. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for watching.